Hello Guardians, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. I know it's been a while since I've done a proper video, so that's why I'm recording this now. So today, in case you haven't seen in the thumbnail, there's been a new image leaked, or not leaked, jeez. I like the way that's my immediate thought, sorry. There's been a new image revealed within the latest TWAB, of course, because, uh, well, Witch Queen's gonna be a long time, so, you know, giving us some little breadcrumbs now is, uh, Probably a good thing, actually. It, it keeps us on our toes and so on and so forth. But I know in the thumbnail, I'll probably try and censor a bit of it so it's not completely spoiled. But yeah, I'm going to scroll down to it now. Even though, if I'm being honest, it's not much of a spoiler. But, like, I will start talking about it for a bit. And then I'll talk about another topic that I was actually originally going to make uh, on the Witch Queen before now. So, here it is. This is the new image. Now, let me actually zoom in on that. But we can see the uh, Hunter and uh, Hunter's new armor set. Well, it looks to be in a cutscene as well. People have pointed out that it's a jungly background. So you never know. It could be uh, old Chicago, new Chicago. I don't know. I can't remember the actual name, the concept art itself. But people are saying it could be that. Uh, some people have actually said it could be a new place on Venus or even just Venus itself. If I'm being honest... The ground doesn't really look Venus-y, so it might actually be another Earth map, which, if I'm being honest, actually, that'd be kind of weird, but, like, if they make it look cool, then that's okay, you know? When I think of a jungly kind of map, it'd be really cool if we had something like what's in Star Wars. I think it's, like, Endor, that jungle map, like, in some Star Wars games, but... Of course, there wouldn't be, like, huts and wooden structures all over the trees above, unless, like, there's, like, a, like, subsection of humanity that lives there, but... You never know. Uh, honestly, other than that, I think people have been saying the armor sets for uh, they're after, or like there's like symbols meant to be here and they're meant to be like different elements and whatnot. I'm not too sure of that myself, but like, yeah. I, I watched like Rick Hax's latest video, so yeah. By the way, stop bullying him for fuck's sake. Leave the poor man alone. Anyway. Um, I was gonna end it there, but of course, as I said, there's another topic I want to talk about, and this, I was gonna record this originally by itself, but now that I have this, I'm actually gonna talk a bit more, and I might actually show some gameplay in the background instead of just leave it on this image. But basically, I want to just give a quick word of warning to not be hyped for, like, which thing. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't be hyped, I'm just saying don't overhype it for yourself. As somebody that's lived to so 21 years of age, guys, I think I know what I'm talking about. But no, in all seriousness, though, there's like there have been times in my life where I've literally overhyped too many things, and it just falls flat on its face when I see it or when it's revealed, so on and so forth. Like I know when I was leaving secondary school, like in Ireland, like that's probably the most hype you'll ever get in your life. It's like once you complete the leaving cert and once you get your results back and you're all G, it's like damn, what do I do now? Like, I know I already had college prepared, but there obviously could have been, like, the side chance of me not bothering with that. Like, just leaving college, but, yeah. Uh, another thing, I'll mention that I overhyped, and then I'll go on to something that I underhyped in a second. I think another thing, I overhyped... Honestly, I won't be surprised if it's, like, an anime back in the day. Because, again, like, back then, I literally didn't even watch many animes like i only watched like two and then i took like three year break or something like that and now i'm literally watching a new anime episode of boruto every day so yeah you see how times have changed but basically like what i'm trying to say is like when it comes to overhyping it's just it can kill the mood of the game some things i've done to avoid this is basically just try not to hype it up as much i'm trying to not theory craft too much about it even though technically these videos what i'm doing right now is kind of the opposite of that but again another fair point on my part is that like which queen's not for a while but then again you could also argue to not like bother saying to not overhype it now but i don't know because like with now it's like grand you can be as hyped as you want it's just closer to the time that you should probably not be as hyped i'll also mention that um yeah no i think i'll move on to i'll move on to another uh thing that I underhyped before. So basically, if you don't know, I watched this series called Love Live, and I'm on series three right now, because there's only three out. When it came to the third series uh, of the franchise, I actually decided, you know what, I'm hyped for this, but I, like, I'm gonna under like hype it a lot because like I've gone through a lot of past experiences where like I can't think of them now but I've definitely gone through like a lot of experiences where I'm just like man I hyped this thing up too much and I've killed it for me. Fun fact though um I under hyped it so much that I watched the first episode at least five plus times 
I'd say in and around there. And obviously I've rewatched it when I was rewatching episodes. Like literally when the second episode came out the next week, I watched the first episode, then the second episode again. Like there was so much I could have put on it like hype wise because the past two were like really like they're really special to me and they're really like good to me but the fact that i underhyped the uh, third series actually made it more enjoyable there was so much in that anyway i won't go too much more into that detail what i will mention as well actually before i wrap up uh, we're going back into destiny a bit with Beyond Light, I basically, I think a week before Beyond Light released, I just unsubbed from everybody and unfollowed everybody on Twitter and YouTube, like when it came to Destiny stuff. And I basically just, I played Destiny by myself, for myself for once, rather than listening to what everybody says, doing guides, ranking up real fast. Like I just, I took it casual. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna play this slowly. And honestly, I know there's a lot of other bad stuff about Beyond Light, but Beyond Light is actually a really good DLC. Like, definitely better than Shadowkeep, anyway. But anyway, sorry, I thought I'd give that little, like, life lesson at the end of the bloody, um, Witch Queen teaser. And also remember, like, just because it's called Witch Queen and it's high, it doesn't mean it's gonna be, like, the next Taken King. And I know, it's delayed as well, but don't, like, just be hype. Don't overhype it, though. You'll kill the mood for yourself. In a year's time, you'll be like, so guys, I'm quitting the game now, um, the Witch Queen, uh, let me down, and yeah, 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 you know? Anyway, thank you, Guardian, so much for listening to this video. If you liked it, obviously like it. Uh, comment on some of your thoughts below. Please see, be civil, and uh, if you want a meme on Rakakis, you can, but please, please don't be too hard on my man. Like, um, subscribe if you want, and hit the bell if you do so desire. I've been the Nightflyer talking about the Witch Queen tease and why you shouldn't overhype the Witch Queen. And I'll see you, Guardians, in another video.